What's up guys, today I am going to be testing the Ezoic Tag Tester and show my results of what it does. So essentially uh, the Ezoic Tag Tester is an A-B test to see which one of your titles will be the best one on Google. So which one will get the best click through rate and will rank the highest. So imagine, so I just typed in uh, how to walk your dog and these are the titles that came up. So imagine if you were gonna write an article about how to walk your dog and you didn't exactly know what title you wanted to give it. You might've wanted to say six tips for mastering the dog walk, dog walking tips, colon, how to walk your dog or you know, anything like that, you might want to have seat test whether or not you should have the year in the title, whether you should you want to have the keyword towards the beginning or the end of your title, a whole bunch of different ways in which you could phrase your title. So the cool thing about the Ezoic Tag Tester is you can say, all right, here are three, four, five different titles that uh, I think might be good. I'll let you, Ezoic, uh, do some tests and decide which one is the best based upon your data. So what you need to do is anyone can do it as long as you've got a Zoic, so you don't have to be on premium. Although I think if you're not on premium, you can only do three tests at a time. So uh, just click on the SEO tab at the top of your Zoic dashboard and it'll take you to the tag tester page. You can just click new test group and then uh, you can just type in one of your URLs up here or some of your best ranking ones will be down here and you can just select the ones that you want to include in your test. And then uh, you can come up with some titles for the URL. So you've already published this URL, it's already an original title. So it'll show you the original title and then it'll show you, sorry, you can add a bunch of other titles. Uh, so you can just click add new title, put another one in, add new title, put another one in until you've got as many different variations of the title as you want. Okay, so here's some I prepared earlier. So here's test one that's listed in the tag tester. You can see the status there says finished. So I'm gonna click on test one and it'll take me to the results page. So I tested a bunch of URLs in the first batch uh, and you can just click the and the analysis button, the, the little button that's got the that button there that is circled. Uh, and uh, as long as it's test completed, it'll show you the results. And here's the test results display. So you can see here for this first title, the original variation was 11 effects of, and then the keyword brackets 2020. I did this test last year. And then here it's saying that which one performed the best. So uh, it says variation A, so the new variation that I tested was better than the old original title by 3.9%. So you can see here underneath that, so this test went through November last year. Uh, the original title was tested for a few days in blue, and then they changed the title here, and it, it looks like it took two days for Google to pick up on the result. So this one where it's kind of got the lines through it means that they've changed the variation, but they're still waiting for Google to uh, to display the change on the Google results. And once the, display, the change is displayed, they'll start testing the new variation to see whether it'll be better or not. So here are some of the metrics that it tests. Average page views per visit, average ranking, the bounce rate, the click-through rate, the session count, and a total score, which, which gives you sort of an overview uh, of which one they think is best. So for example, if you have a title that doesn't serve user intent, so when the user clicks the title, they're expecting something different, there might be a really high bounce rate. So if you're specifically trying to find one to decrease your bounce rate and say, I want a title that is exactly what my audience uh, expects, uh, so to match the title with what is actually written, you might be focusing more on bounce rate, just as an example. But I always just focus on total score, which gives me an overview of which one performed the best for my website and is gonna make me the most money. So here are my results. So here's the first one. So that's the one that I showed you just above. The original title was keyword, colon, 11 lifelong effects, and then the year. The variation that I changed, so if original title was A, then variation was B in the AB test, it was 11 effects of and then the keyword. So I put the keyword towards the back. It says here that the variation, so not the original title, but the new one that I tested out, performed 3.91% better in the total score that they gave. Now, 
the cool thing here is it actually tells you the margin of error. So the margin of error is plus or minus 0.5%. So uh, it could say that uh, it performed either 6.6% better or just 5.6% better, we're not sure. Uh, but it's obviously variation seems to perform pretty well and they're pretty confident about that. URL two, I tried seven steps for how to and then the keyword or how to keyword and then in brackets at the end in seven steps. Again, the new variation that I tried performed better and it performed a lot better, 20% better for this one, which is really cool. So once the test is completed, it depends how many clicks you get for how long they have to do the test because they want to do the test for a certain amount of time until they've got a pretty good confidence interval. So you may have to wait for a couple of weeks or even months if your page isn't getting many clicks. Um, so once they've got the, they're feeling confident about the results, then the test will finish. And then after the test is done, I should say they do actually leave the best one as the title. So as long as you're still with a Zoic, a Zoic code will always show the variation that's the best. You don't actually have to go in and manually do it, which is really cool. Uh, so URL three, we've got this one. I have three title options, title, uh, original title, and then variation A and variation B. So first one was keyword and then five key features. Variation B was five key features of, and then keyword at the back of the title. And then variation B, so the third option was keyword, comma, explained, exclamation mark, and then year in brackets. Uh, so variation B performed 55% better than the original title. Variation A performed 21% better. So the original title didn't perform too well at all in this test uh, with a margin of error of around about 0.3% for that. So it put variation B as the title. And if I Google that keyword, you'll see that variation B is the one that is showing still. URL four, again, the uh, keyword comma explained exclamation mark and then year in brackets performed the best. It was 4.75% better than the leader with a confidence interval of 0.3% or a margin of error, I should say, of 0.3%. So it's left variation A as the best one. In fact, variation B got very close, 4.73% better versus 4.75%. But data says variation A is the best, so we're keeping that. Okay. So you can go and try that out yourself, uh, but here are some implications. Uh, first one, I, what I really like about it is a it's a data-based way of improving your rankings. You don't have to buy any backlinks. You don't have to do anything except just improve your on-page SEO and you can improve your rankings. I love that it's not involving any guesswork. It is based entirely on data, which is what Ezoic is best at, is, is using data to come up with the best uh, settings for your website. And, but the really cool thing is, let's say it seems as if my results were generally around about the best one got was about about 4% better than the other ones. So if you make $4,000 a month in ads and you get an average of 4% increase in traffic, uh, you could make an extra $160 per month just by implementing this tag tester. So it's totally worth it. It's worth giving, a, giving this a go uh, to increase your traffic and of course, your revenue afterwards, and especially because it's free, so why not give it a shot? So you can give that a go yourself if you're on a Zoic. I think it's pretty cool, and I think it is just a, a, a data-based way of, of improving your SEO, uh, which is something I really like. I did a video a couple of weeks ago about my favorite titles, ways of creating titles, and this is sort of a way of backing up those favorite ways of creating titles with actually using something that tests, does A-B testing to give you the best title, not one that you're just guessing might be good. All right, thanks for that. And I'll see you in the next video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the discussion below.